Taking the witness stand during her murder trial in February 2022. Did you recklessly cause the death of Daniel Sanchez under circumstances manifesting extreme <clears throat> indifference to the value of human life? No, I did not. Did you recklessly cause the death of Daniel Sanchez at all? No, I did not. Murder convict joiner Scott Sked denied killing former Humatak Mayor Daniel Sanchez inside the Superior Court then, and today she maintains her innocence. Scott, who is serving life in prison, appealed her conviction before the Supreme Court of Guam. Defense attorney Peter Perez arguing for Sked's acquittal, contending prosecutors did not have enough evidence despite the jury's guilty verdict. In the end, no witness testified that Ms. Sked murdered the victim. No witness said that Ms. Sked caused the victim's death. No witness said that Ms. Sked assaulted the victim. No witness said that Ms. Sked caused serious bodily injury to the victim. No witness said she acted recklessly. No witness said she acted with extreme indifference to the value of human life. There was no DNA evidence connecting her to the offense. There were no recording. There was no recording evidence establishing the offenses. There were no fingerprints. There was no incriminating serology evidence. And in a case where there were 23 stab wounds and four chop wounds and there was blood spatter at the scene, you would expect that there would be blood evidence connecting the defendant and her clothing to the offense, which did not exist in this case. But Chief Justice Robert Torres questioned that argument. There was some testimony that she had, she was aware that um, uh, the victim had been stabbed, even though that information had not been released or, or made public um, at, at the point that she had said that. She had showered and changed her clothes uh, more than once since leaving the residence, um, the, the, the residence or the shack where the body was found and that shack was locked uh, from the outside. Um, Another person, I think it was Mr. Dunka, uh, talked about she was either very nervous or freaking out about uh, the police. Um, she also asked someone who was a complete stranger, Miss Cruz, uh, what would she do if she found a dead body at her, her boyfriend's house? And so, um, you know, it seems that there was at least circumstantial evidence. But at the same time, again, it comes down to does this does this establish the elements or does it create mere suspicion and innuendo? And in this case, you know, there are instructions and these instructions I don't believe were given here, but when you have um, mere presence, for example, in a conspiracy case, that's not sufficient to convict. In April of 2021, Sanchez was stabbed with scissors and bludgeoned with a hammer. His body was left inside co-actor Rudy Canata's residence with the door padlocked. Kanata also appealed his conviction earlier this week. The high court has yet to decide in his case. Pears also arguing today that Kanata could have been the one who used the hammer and scissors during the killing, adding prosecutors should have only charged Sked with what they could prove. However, prosecuting attorney Marion Wolchuk says the evidence was enough for the jury to convict Sked. If you look at the evidence as a whole, you can see that um, the defendant was with the victim around the time that he died with, with her boyfriend as well. Um, she's the one who mentioned there was some sort of love triangle that went wrong. Um, she, we, we can, the jury can infer that there was extreme indifference or recklessness, you know, rec recklessness has as part of its de definition, the extreme indifference to the value of human life. And so, you know, the fact that she left the house and she knew that the door was chained and padlocked and there was somebody inside there who was either dead or dying. And she never, there's no evidence that she called anyone or contact, contacted anyone or, or made any report. Um, that, that shows that you're extremely indifferent to the value of human life. There's the fact that she disappeared for several days after this happened. Um, she told Fred that somebody stabbed somebody, even though her testimony when she did testify is that Rudy told her that the victim is dead in the house, don't go back to the house. But Rudy never, she never testified that Rudy told her that the victim had been stabbed. So if she knows the victim is stabbed, 
she has something to do with it. She is the one who did it. Wolschuk adding Sked's testimony was self-serving and she tailored it based on testimony provided by others who were called before her during trial. The justices took the appeal under advisement and will issue a decision.